a lot of soul. Hi, I'm just doing a review on a website and I came across an issue I see on quite a few sites and I'd just like to do a video about it because it's such a bugbear, I think, um, and I don't really understand why people would still do this. You know, sure you want your customers to actually contact you, which is great, but using the mail to link is just not the appropriate thing to do from a website. What happens when you click on a mail to link? It brings up a mail client. And it brings up the mail client that's currently running on that particular computer or device that you're using. You know, you're not using your computer, you're using someone else's computer. You click on that link there and it'll bring up their email uh, client and you'll be making an email from someone else's email address, which is going to be no good to you at all if you're a customer. So that's one of the biggest bugbears. It doesn't make sense as a marketing um, ploy to use those links. Secondly, because they're on your website, they're sitting there and they're readable by the robots and the spiders who come along and look at your website. They can then use that information to spam other people using your email address or they can send you lots and lots of junk mail or spam. And you don't want that either, especially if you're the sales consultant there, you don't want to be receiving a hyper junk mail. How um, enthusiastic are you going to be looking, are you going to be to look through leads if 90% of the email that you get is junk? So it's far better to replace um, this link here with a link to a contact form. So a form which can then provide a lot more information as well. Uh, if you go to a simple contact form like this one here, um, it's just requiring a, a name, an email address and then a message from the um, the customer. And here the email address is supplied by the customer so assuming they can type it incorrectly you're going to get some valuable information um, and they're going to be in the loop as in if you reply to them on email it will actually get to them. Uh, simpler the form the better because you don't want people to be spending a lot of time on there um, trying to get their information in. Also if they're in the process of trying to make a decision whether they're going to email you or ring you up having your phone number on the contact form like this so that they can easily make the decision oh no instead of emailing I'll just ring they can click on the that phone number and actually come through to you directly okay so how can we make a contact form work better well the first thing we do is we do need to replace these links here with links to a contact form however since this is actually the contact us page um, and this is someone who selected this contact page actually does want to contact you straight away you should probably have the contact form embedded on this page um, between the information down the, on the left here and the map so you know, a name, email address and a message in there with a submit so that's the simplest way to implement the contact us form on the home page there's a link here at the moment that um, is not utilised very well. It's actually for people to arrange a free site order and instead of going to a form um, where people can just put in their name and email address and perhaps even a phone number so that um, people can get back to them and arrange the site order but instead at the moment it is actually sending people across to the contact us page where they've got to make a decision whether they contact support or they contact sales to actually um, get their site audit. It's not a very good use of a form in that case. Now the beauty about forms is that you can use them to track uh, the way people use your website. So in this case back on that uh, back here if someone clicked on this form here now this button here and it went to a form that sent an email to say support in this case that uh, said site audit inquiry from home page header in the subject matter then the staff would know exactly where that um, inquiry came from. You can also use um, that information uh, inside Google Analytics as well because each of these would have a separate form page um, to actually track where people are using the site.